cartridge box, so I'm trying to get the water hot. and you're registered to vote. <laughs> oh, it's getting warm. The water's getting warm. Soap on there. So basically now I start prepping the sauce. And um, I'm going to show you the stuff I usually use. Okay, so I try to get, we, we always try to get organic stuff. We really like this organic fellow tomato sauce. So this is a little bit of what we put in. Um, we also really like the Italian herbs diced tomatoes. You need two cans of this for the, well, if you're making one pizza, you don't need two. If you're making two pizzas, it's always more comfortable doing two pizzas. Um, organic whole peeled tomatoes. We have organic tomato paste. Um, and then I also need to chop some onions. I like to get those, um, Trader Joe's pre-chopped onions, but we don't have any right now, so I'm going to have to chop some onions. Um, and I'm also going to need, what else am I going to need? 
And there's a lot of spices that are going to go into this, but I'll pull those out in a little bit. I think what else? I would put the pepperonis. I'm going to warm up the pepperonis, kind of like do a little, I like put them on the frying pan for a little bit before I put them on the pizza. Um, yeah, and I'm going to go get, I'm going to go get the little tag that has like my measurements for this because, um, we do everything in grams for the most part. Like, you know, I obviously did the flour and stuff in cups and half cups and teaspoons, but for the most part with the sauce, I work in grams. So I'm not sure how that translates for uh, the other stuff, but um, I'm gonna go get that posted real quick that has those measurements for me. You know what else I found when I was looking for this post it? The printout from the dough. So the woman who the, did the YouTube bread thing was Jill Winger, W I N G E R. And it's called The Easiest, Most Versatile Bread Recipe Ever. <laughs> and it really is. I mean, look, it's not that hard. Um, okay, so basically, when I if I were to do one pizza, for the sauce, I do 150 grams of the bellow. I do 210 grams of the diced tomatoes. I do 30 grams of the paste. I do 28 grams of the diced onions, which I'm about to deal with. I do 225 grams of peeled tomatoes. Um, and that's, that's the root of the sauce, all right? So I'm, what I'm going to do today, though, with the measurements is I'm doubling all that because I'm going to make double the sauce and then split it exactly in half and put it on each pizza. Um, but if you guys like your pizza saucier, um, you can, I would just recommend doing more of the um, diced tomatoes and more of the tomato sauce just to, like, have a saucier sauce. But what we found is that... Um, very thin amount of sauce actually goes a long way and it's partly why I make the sauce so early because I actually sort of spread it with my fingers because it's like tricky to it's so thin that it's tricky to spread it but when it all bakes it ends up being the exact right amount so it's like a little it's a little up to like your preference in terms of if you like saucy pizza or if you like less saucy pizza um, okay so then I always um, I do all of this in a wok which of course is my trusty scan pan walk. I love my scan pans. What can I tell you? It's such a such a genuine love. Um, all right, I'm gonna dice some onions, which I hate doing. My fingers just smell like onions forever, and it's like super annoying. But gotta do it. so it's not a, it's not like the prettiest thing to watch um scale gets used a lot in our house we um it, we do grams but it'll do ounces fluid ounces in milliliters whatever you guys want if you wanted to um figure out how to translate all of it but i just uh put the uh the little cup on there we'll balance it to zero get some onions and see if we can get to what we want to get to so I'm doubling the onions because I guess 
uh, make it two, not one. Okay, so we're at what we need to be at. I like to use spray olive oil. It's very easy. Eva's mad at me again. She really wants to go outside now. Um, I'm going to spray the pan. Give it a generous spray. I'm going to put the onions in there. I measured. Turn on the... Okay. So these are going to start doing their thing. measuring stuff for the, um, the sauce so that as the onions are heating up, um, oh, I'm actually going to add some garlic to that. We're huge fans of the little Trader Joe's like pre-crushed pre packets. So I usually do three, sometimes four of these little pellets, and I'm going to just put it in with the um, onions and the oil while it's heating up. They're going to also grill into the onions. I'll show you. They start out, you know, kind of frozen and then they'll end up kind of grilling in there as it all heats up. Okay, back over here. All right, so we got the garlic going. Um, now I'm going to get a saucepan so I can start measuring the other sauce stuff. Sauce bowl, sauce bowl, not pan, bowl. Okay, so now I'm doing twice the amount. If it was one pizza, 150 grams of bellow sauce. If two pizzas, it's 300. Okay, so we got 300 exactly. Then rice tomatoes. If it's one pizza, it's 210 means it's two pizzas, 420, and drain the, it's very watery, so I drain most of the water. Okay, so one can gets us to 319. I eat a little bit of the next can, and I'm going to have to drain the water off the top. And it starts off looking 
very saucy. Like it seems like that's never going to seem like pizza sauce because pizza sauce is kind of thick, but it, it will reduce down to that. So don't be alarmed when it feels like it looks like it's going to be like spaghetti sauce or something. Um, okay, so this is all mixed. Now I'm going to measure out some um, tomato paste. I'm going to be a uh, pan over. doing one pizza, it would be 30 grams, two pizzas, and it would be 60 grams. And I need this spoon to get this out. handle 61 grams. Okay. So I just added that to the sauce that's on the stove. And we're going to mix that in. It's going to help thicken it up a little bit. I'm starting to get to the point where I'm going to start adding some flavor. Um, I use a lot of just like generic Italian seasoning. This is the one I have right now. We go through all sorts of different ones. This is the one we have right now. I also use extra oregano. Um, really like this um, organic spicy onion. This is this is a big flavor in there. Um, trouble like working around this camera. Um, I'm going to show you more in just a second. Hang on. Basil. Basil is another important one. So, a few things that go on here, and again, this is going to be about your taste buds and what you guys like. But the main ones are the ones I showed you. Then there's a company called Penzi's that has great spices, and these do not seem like the obvious things to put in pizza sauce, but we like them. So, use a little bit of the Galena Street Rub and a little bit of the Sunny Spain. So, those are two spices that I cook with a lot. And then there's also a company called Flavor God, which has great stuff. They have, like, really sweet spices, like they have, like desserty spices, but they also have other spices. Um, so uh, I use a little bit of this, just depends, just because they are a little bit saltier than some of the other spices, so it depends on your sensitivity to salt. But they have a great garlic lovers, they have a cheese seasoning, and they have a pizza seasoning. So I will use a little bit of these, but I mostly use those first four. So I'm going to turn you this way so you can sort of see as I how like aggressively I season. I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit. It's already starting to kind of get thicker. Okay. All right, so Italian blend, here we go. A lot, I'm gonna use a lot. I actually like take the little lid off because not that stuff otherwise. Really coat that sucker. Then a bunch of oregano. Also a significant amount of the onion spice. And the basil. those in for now. And I'm really taking
making this down to almost like a simmer at this point. And then, like I said, a little bit of the sunny Spain. A little bit of the really unusual, but somehow tastes good in this uh, Galena Street Rub. Just a little texture. We'll do a little bit of the garlic lovers, just a little bit. Just a little dash. Again, same thing with the cheese. Oh. And a little bit of the pizza, the flavor, the seed flavor guy. Okay, just a little, a little peppering. Okay. Okay. So the other thing is, if you like your pizza sauce sweet, which a lot of people do. Um, we have at times put a little bit of that coconut brown sugar in the pizza sauce um, because it's a very healthy way to sweeten the sauce. I would say if you're going to do it, no more than like two tablespoons because um, then it starts to get really like weird and, so and sweet. Um, I'm not going to put that in this week just because we were thinking we wanted to see if we could see what the flavor would be like if it was a little bit more savory. So um, we are not actually going to... I'm not doing that this week, but if you wanted to add some of that same brown sugar, coconut sugar that I used in the dough, um, this would be the time that I would add that. Um, but for right now, I'm going to turn this all the way down to like almost no, almost no heat. This is like almost literally not on. I'm just going to let it really, really simmer. And I'm going to warm up the pepperonis because I'd like them to be I want to cook them a little bit, but then I want them to cool down so that when I place them on the pizza, I can do it with my hands without burning my fingers, okay? So I'm going to go get the pepperonis now. Typically, we get the Applegate um, pepperonis. Uh, those are the ones we really like. These are the turkey pepperonis, not the regular pepperonis. The turkey pepperonis are actually really good, too. Um, they were out of the regular pepperonis, so I actually had to get um, a different brand. So we've never tried these before, but I don't think they're as organic, unfortunately. Um, but there's like a pepperoni shortage in the world, apparently, I think. Um, at least I, I don't know. I read an article saying that. And then I couldn't find the pepperonis that I wanted, so I just assumed that the article was right. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm going to just, uh, I'm going to heat up the other pepperonis. And literally all I do, I'm pretty casual about it. I just throw them on a frying pan for like a couple minutes and flip them over for like a couple minutes and I turn them off. I don't do anything fancy with the pepperonis. Just 
more off the turkey pepperonis. I'm just gonna mix them. It's nice to have a mixture. Like I, even when I can find pepperoni, oftentimes I get a couple different kinds just because it's nice to mix it up a little bit. Um, but anyway, again, super casual. It's very casual pepperoni eating. I just kind of threw them all on there. They're gonna warm up for a little bit. It's like a medium heat, maybe a little lower than medium. Just as soon as they start to sizzle a little bit, I'm gonna flip them over and then I'm gonna turn them off and I sit them aside. They're still gonna bake, they're gonna bake on the pizza later, but I just wanna get them like a little bit warm so that they're not raw when I put the pizza in. Just always keep an eye on the sauce. Make sure it's not getting crusty, you know, gotta keep it moving. You know, you want to start kind of tasting the sauce a little bit and making sure it doesn't need anything else. I feel like mine could use a little more Italian seasoning. I'm going to add some of that. I'm going to add a little bit more oregano. I'm going to add a little bit of the onion. Rinse up the spoon so I can see if I can taste test it. basil in there. A little bit of sunny Spain, I think. And a little bit more of the Galena Street Rub. You can hear my, um, <coughs> excuse me, spices in my throat. Um, you can hear the pepperoni starting to sizzle a little bit, so I'm going to stop with my spices for a second to flip those guys over. There's no elegant way to flip pepperonis. So I just usually kind of just do a little grabber thing. And I sort of just like turn over as many as I can turn over. Again, like I said, this pepperoni situation is very casual. I think you guys are probably learning from this whole experience that there is nothing very expert about any of the things that I do. I just sort of like, I don't know, just kind of make it up as I go. And then whatever seems to work, I do it again. I got most of these guys flipped over. I'll give it another like minute or two, but we're not gonna belabor that. Okay, let's see here. Oh yeah, we were just testing. I'm rinse my spoon again so I can taste again. to putting a little bit of the sugar in, so I'm not used to um, the flavor being a little bit different. Sugar. I'm going to do 
one teaspoon. Sprinkle that in. That helps. And really, you guys can do whatever you want with this sauce. I mean, everybody has such different taste buds and things with sauce. The thing to remember, though, is like if you're doing this with pepperoni, like like I am, you want the sauce and the pepperoni to work well together, right? So I'm gonna test this again. There you go. If you need it. If you need a teaspoon of sugar. All right, we're good now. We're on track. So good about that. Okay, so at this point, most things are under control. A couple things we're gonna still do. But a lot of what's happening now is going to be cleaning up. So, um, I'm going to put all my spices away except for my Italian blend and my oregano because I'm going to do one last dusting of those as long as I don't forget. Sometimes I forget. I'm going to do one last dusting of those before um, I put the pizza in the oven. So I'm putting everything else away. You guys, sometimes sorry. So I've set aside the pepperonis. They're going to cool down a little bit. The sauce, I'm actually going to turn off at this point. Um, I'm going to let it settle and kind of thicken up and cool down a little bit because, like I said, I'm going to do another major hand, hand wash, and then it, I will probably use my hands to spread it. Um, I'm going to get all this stuff. Take this stuff over so I can rinse it out. Take you with me. I know you guys love washing dishes with me. All right. Back to washing the dishes. That's my sister saying this while she does this. I don't have her voice, so. 